Welcome to the instructional video for entering your schedules into the GICAA website. We begin on the GICAAsports.com webpage. From here, you will go to the login section of the webpage. Once on this page as an athletic director, you will select schools to log in. At this point, you will enter the login which we have provided you. If you have any questions about your login, please contact the office and we will get you that information. Please take note of our new rule for reporting your scores. It has changed from previous years. At this stage, for entering your schedules, you will go to Add Edit Schedules. Select your sport. If you do not see your sport listed here below, you will need to go back to our main page under the Members tab and select Add or Drop Sport, select Add Sport Form, and fill out that form and we will get that sport assigned to you. We're going to do boys basketball for this demonstration. Please note you currently have no games entered into this schedule. To begin, please enter the date of the game. Pay special attention to the year. If you accidentally put 2017 for a 2018 game and that date has already passed, you will get the email letting you know that your game reporting is past due. Next, you'll enter the time and your opponent. For this example, we're going to play ourselves the GICAA Sample School. Your location, whether it's home or away, and whether that is a region or non-region match. Next, you will go to your venue. If you do not see your venue listed, you will click the click here next to venues and we will walk you through how to do venues in a different video. Once you have all the information submitted, insert your record and your game will appear. From this point you can continue to enter all your games in this fashion. Please note, if any game that you have during the year is postponed or canceled, you will need to come into this section and either edit the game date if it was postponed or delete the game if it was canceled. If not, you will have the email sent to you letting you know that you are missing a game reported. If it was a forfeit, you can go ahead and enter a 1-0 score as a forfeit and that will cover your reporting of the score for that game. Once you've entered in the information for your next game, you will submit it. And as you see, each time you add a game, your schedule is created. This will automatically populate onto our website. That is all we have for the scheduling part. If you have any questions about this, you can feel free to contact our office, and we'll help and guide you in any way possible. Thank you for your time.